yet. Northland doctors and medical professionals are voicing strong concern about the PolyMet project. Today, they laid out their reasons why. Our mining reporter, Renee Passal, is on that story. This more than 2,200 page document doesn't have enough information in it, according to a group of 46 doctors and nurses. We find it quite troubling that there is an absence of professionals from the Minnesota Department of Health who've been involved as preparers of this document. We request that the PolyMet SDEIS uh, be mandated to include a health risk assessment. They want that assessment to look at issues like exposure to mercury and other chemicals. PolyMet says the SDEIS report includes this line, sulfate and mercury loadings, two key constituents of concern, are predicted to decrease overall. We asked the doctors about that science-based statement. From my finding, it looks like the information is incomplete. So I don't know that that's an accurate statement, that some will go down and some will go up. Pro mining stakeholders say that it's the doctor's facts that are wrong. Disingenuous fear mongering, that's unfortunate. They need to do their homework and look at the net reduction in sulfate and mercury as a result of this solid project. The health professionals also want PolyMet workers' health to be analyzed. Jobs for Minnesotans says that's important to them too. Our organized labor voice in Jobs for Minnesotans is of course concerned about worker safety and they would be working closely um, with the agencies that also regulate worker safety as this project proceeds. According to the medical group, it's about making sure they're looking ahead, not after the fact. If health effects that are adverse are identified, then plans can be made for prevention before the project even begins. The public comment period for the SDEIS ends on Thursday at 4.30. I'm Renee Passal for Eyewitness News. The doctors and nurses have been invited to speak with PolyMet directly about their concerns. Still to